what it do you guys welcome back to another vlog it is sunday night classes officially start tomorrow and i i don't know how i feel right now i've been like so excited up until today and today i just feel like this really weird feeling about classes like i don't know for me the first day like it's just always a weird day and i guess because you're just getting settled into like a new situation and i'm ready for like the second week to come and me just kind of be in the flow of things so i'm taking four classes this semester and it's going to be 13 hours and i was telling you guys how i wanted to change my major to psychology and i did so i'm going to be doing let's see intermediate spanish so i already did Spanish 1010 and 1020 I think back in my sophomore year I'm pretty sure sophomore year and now I'm doing Spanish 2010 so pray for your girl I took French in high school for four years which I got really good at that and then decided to go to college and flip the script and do Spanish which was a bad idea because I do not remember anything that I learned except for like what yo soy i don't even know um and then my other three classes are all site classes so i'm doing like a statistics class i have it thursdays tuesdays and thursdays from like 5 30 to 7 30 so yeah two hours but i get four credits from it so it's just like hmm, okay i'm also taking perceptual psychology and then I don't even know the other side classes it's just like a lot of psychology but that's the major i'm in now i'm done with all my gen ed so now i'm pretty much just taking all upper division courses my goal this semester is to make all a's i haven't made all a's in a single semester that i've been in college i've been close it's just kind of like i haven't been able to just get to that point so that's definitely a goal of mine this semester i'm really excited about these classes and about just not being in the biology department anymore it's kind of like goodbye good riddance to that i love the material i love like the subject matter and everything like that but the biology department is just a very difficult department at my university and so i really don't have much to talk about tonight i'm about to take off my makeup and i really just want to vlog to show you guys what i did i played in the kylie jenner sipping a pretty palette i'm gonna actually show it to you guys so this is the palette isn't it beautiful so many freaking shades i fucking get so many looks out of this palette you have like your pops of color boom points to the wrong thing lots of neutrals some nice shimmery shades a nice black in there so i am obsessed with this palette and as far as this look right here the tutorial I don't know if it'll be up before or after you guys are saying this vlog. If it's already up, I will have it linked in the cards. If not, expect it soon. But anyway, I'm going to take this makeup off even though it's just so beautiful. I don't want to. And I will see you guys in the morning at 6 a.m. So I am in the car. I'm all shea buttered up, you guys. I decided like no makeup today, no nothing today. I just wanted to focus on getting to class. I haven't had an 8 a.m. since freshman year. I think I mentioned that to you guys last night. So this was a little rough for your girl. Woke up this morning to an amazing opportunity with a makeup and skincare brand. So it's always awesome being noticed by the bigger brands. But when they're actually willing to like collaborate with you and pay out is really something. Like a lot of brands will just be like, oh, work with us because we're, you know, this name. Um, but when they actually want to pay you for your work, it's amazing. So I thank God for that opportunity this morning because I woke up kind of like feeling a little crazy. And then when I saw that, it it made all that, like all those crazy feelings turn into like joy. So now I'm on my way to the campus. I'm in my car just, you know, start up a bit and I'm about to get going, you guys. So excited. So let's do this. Look at this sign. It says, welcome home. Ha ha, very funny. So I guess I'll give you guys like a little recap hopefully the air is not too loud but i need to cool it off in here so pretty much my first class was psychology of personality and the professor he was like cracking jokes and stuff like that and he seemed really cool and he told us that we would have like quizzes once a week so 
I mean, I'm not looking forward to the quizzes, but I do like when a teacher gives a decent amount of assignments versus just having like a midterm and a final that can really kill your grade. So we're gonna have quizzes every week. And he also gave us the option to like skip the final if we want and we can just do like a research paper or like a oral presentation or if we like miss the midterm for some reason or we don't do well on the midterm then we can also use the paper or the presentation as like a replacement grade and then he said like no makeup quizzes but if you like miss class and miss a quiz then he'll drop the lowest quiz grade so so pretty much he's basically design the course for us to succeed so i'm really looking forward to this class it already sounds interesting anyway but when i know the professor isn't trying to sabotage me then i really look forward to the class then my second class spanish 2010 y'all oh my gosh walked in she's already just speaking nothing but spanish so i was shook <laughs> and um and I'm sure a lot of the other students were too, but obviously, you know, they weren't saying anything. And then come to find out, we had to take like a little practice test today. She basically was like, if you don't make 70%, you need to go back to Spanish 1020. So it looks like you guys need to go back to Spanish 1020 because, <laughs> wow, okay, wow. I, um, I'm gonna give it a try. The, and you know, what's the up part about it excuse my language because i'm really you know trying to not curse anymore but this emotion right here is causing me to curse and i'm feeling like the teacher that is like assigned to the course is out on a paternity i mean not paternity maternity leave so she just had a baby but now we have like this substitute teacher who's going to be teaching us who's making the course like i feel more difficult than it needs to be because the professor that i thought that was over the course i looked her up on like rate my professor she had good ratings they said that she really helped you out um gave extra credit this and that but this substitute professor I'm not getting those vibes from her. Our original professor doesn't even come back until November 16th. Semester is December 7th or something like that. Like I think the like, like finals start around December 5th or something. And you come back November 16th, like you may as well stay with your baby. At that point, it's just going to be like, what's the point of coming back? Like you just need to wait till the spring. So y'all, I'm just venting right now. Hi. Ow. I'm back. Ow. Okay, so I just stopped at the apartment just to pick up sugar. So usually if I just like leave her in her little dog carrier and take her in the store and put her in a basket, she does well. But last time me and my mom went to Home Goods together, she was like going crazy. And I think because she could see my mom walking in front of her and it was just driving her crazy. Cause usually if I'm like pushing her in the cart and she's in her carrier and it's just me, she does fine. All right then. I'm gonna go see her cousin Coco and I'll make you still. Love you. <laughs> All right. Let's go. So just got out of Sephora and this is my bag I don't know why they do this to me but every time I get like I feel a decent amount of products they always put it in this tiny bag like part of the reason I wanted to go into the store was so that I could get the bag so I could like hold it up in my thumbnail but this just looks small and pathetic anyway so I got a good amount of stuff you guys can see like it's literally coming out of the bag but I will haul all of this on my channel I think I'm about to run into Ulta because they sent me a 20% off coupon, I think, via email. So I'm gonna go have to see what they're talking about. Okay, I'm back. So while I was out, my lips got super chapped and I took a Snapple peach tea with me so I could just stay hydrated, but that didn't help at all. Like, 
my lips started like burning so i knew my body was like in need of some water so i bought a dasani while i was at marshall's drank the whole thing and i still feel really thirsty right now so i'm gonna fill it up a few times before i leave here but i wanted to show you guys what i got from marshall's i did also just leave ulta like i said i think i told you guys i was going to ulta um with that 20 percent off coupon they got so i asked the girl when i got in there i was like so is this on everything or um or what and i figured that some prestige brands would be eligible for the 20 percent off but she said it was only like the like drugstore you know side which i don't know if i believe that because i've shopped with ulta and they're like 20 percent off coupon before and it's usually on prestige brands as well but I just don't think she knew what she was really talking about because I asked her a few different things while I was in there. I kept bugging her and she didn't really <laughs> seem to know much. So I'm like, let me just leave this child alone. Happy Wednesday, you guys. I just got two deliveries, well, one delivery, two packages. I ordered some acrylic bar stools from Overstock on, a, oh my gosh, is that the ice maker? I put in the order on Overstock for these bar stools, I think Friday or Saturday night, and it's Wednesday and they're already here. I think the expected delivery was supposed to be Friday the 31st, so I'm not even mad. The box is not as big as I expected. I was able to carry these into my apartment, no problem. So I'm about to unbox them, set them up, and I will show you guys the finished result. So I have all four bar stools built. I think that I'm going to do three here instead of the four because the fourth one does make it look a bit crowded so i may either put it on the side where my baby's dog bowl is or i may just put it away may even take it apart and just have it in case i need it when i get a bigger space but i think three definitely looks better than the four and i couldn't be happier with these bar stools i feel like they sell a similar design at ikea and i'm gonna have to look it up to see if you guys like want to shop this look maybe ikea will give you a better option as far as like money wise but i'll definitely look into it i couldn't be happier with this acrylic look i feel like my furniture is just so over the top like this piece here is just you know it's i mean it's doing a lot i also feel like my sofa and my coffee table and stuff kind of does a lot so i want to keep my bar stools really simple and the silver leg still helps it to tie into everything else but i do like the acrylic just making it super simplistic and also with them being see-through it doesn't feel like it's taking up so much space because when i had my dining chairs over here just as a filler since i don't have a table currently i really didn't like how fabric like chairs looked at the island so i think that the acrylic is the way to go so i am going to take one away i think this one is kind of it's kind of like rickety you see that one of the legs is uneven or something so i'll probably just take that one away and then have the three good ones <laughs> at the bar so let me see make sure this spread out evenly kind of give you guys an idea what i'm talking about and there we have it so what do you guys think the three or the four let me know down below this lip color is not coming across cute on camera in person it looks more like mauve ish but it's looking like kind of plummy like purpley but yeah so anyway about to get up i'm gotta walk my dog i haven't walked her all morning it's only like nine o'clock so i'm gonna walk her and then head out to mom's house Look at her dragging me. <laughs> I have one of those leashes that like will extend out to like 10 feet or so. But she just didn't do well on it because like I said, she likes to drag me. Which is crazy because I used to be dragging her. But now that she gets excited to go outside, she drags me. So the retractable leash just doesn't work well with us. So until she gets like more accustomed to walking and not going crazy now she has to be on this one good job girl yes get that boo-boo up out of you sis <laughs> so 
but I used to get super annoyed. I'm trying to air a little bit. I used to get super annoyed by cyclists like this who ride in traffic. But since my dad is a cyclist, I, you know, am a bit more respectful. So, you guys respect the cyclists out here, you know, because my dad is one. Yeah. Just made it to Mama Cat's house and looks like we've got some packages. I was only expecting two. I got a like UPS shipping notification for this one from It Cosmetics and then for this one for from the online makeup academy. So I'm really excited to open this one up because it's gonna be some really good stuff in there. And we also got something from Maybelline and then two boxes from Sigma. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to unbox this stuff now and look at it or just save it for a huge like PR haul. I usually do my little hauls on my Instagram stories. If I go the YouTube route, I will more than likely include a giveaway with it. So let me know down below what you guys would prefer. So you guys, we are about to head to Red Lobster. I'm on my phone currently. Oh, that's nice. Where you get it? Eight dollars at Restore. Yeah. So is it like um, news? Yeah. yeah, it works. Yeah. Michael and I went and he um, bought a piece for his mom for like $8, $10. Mm -hmm. And he refurbished it and it was like a $200 piece of furniture. Yeah. And he did all in a matter of hours. So we just left from seeing this model home. I didn't get much footage of it because we did like more talking than looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we are about to go to Red Lobster, me, my mom, and my brother. And then later I'm going to go get mem pops on a date so y'all i came and got in the truck i was not finna sit there entertain her vacuuming the tile like she needs to she needs to come on I know. She didn't know what the damn she vacuuming the damn hardwood floor. That's what I'm saying. Like I was not finna wait on her. And her like, no, she was trying to rush us out the house. <laughs> and now she's talking about so let me vacuum. I can't. I can't deal. And let me call Glamour magazine before they try to charge me. I, know for how this. You feel. I forgot to vlog the before, but this is the before after. Pictures. Oh my god. I took a picture, but I didn't like do a video. Oh well, it was good. I'm so full. So good morning, you guys. Y'all heard that train? <laughs> How many of you guys have been here since my like college apartment days? When like whenever I would talk, a train would literally just show up out of nowhere, and interrupt me. Oh, good times, good times. Happy Sunday, you guys. It is about nine o'clock, and I've been up since seven. I want to vlog this morning because <sighs> I just. I like don't want to like be putting negativity out into the world but I guess it's good to kind of just like talk about things that are frustrating to just kind of get it out so I'm looking at my car right now from like my bedroom window and I can see that the two tires I can see are both like super low I'm surprised they're not flat yet but basically like my little tire pressure sign has been on for a minute and I don't have one of those like fancy updated cars yet. I will soon, but I don't have one of those cars that tells you exactly what your tire pressure is for every single like tire. That's like a new feature in cars and my car is an 08. So we ain't got none of that over here. <laughs> so whenever I see the little symbol that the tire is low, I really never know which tire it is, but I have been able to tell that when I've been driving, I can like feel things more and it just, my tires just sound uneven when I'm driving and it's literally been, you know, putting me on the edge because it's like, I just got my windshield little thing fixed and now it's like something else. I'm just like, oh my God, really? So about five or six months ago, I had a flat because Someone um, threw something out of their window on the interstate, something metal, and I didn't have enough time to move and I hit it. And I went to the nail shop and after I left the nail shop, I was headed somewhere else and I heard this loud sound coming from my tire and I pulled over and got out and it was completely flat. So whatever I hit punctured my tire. And then on top of that, it just started pouring down, raining out of nowhere. And I'm just like, oh my God, what do I do? So... 
I call my mom crying and, you know, whatever, and wishing that I had AAA, blah, blah, blah. And then she just told me like to call my dad. So I really didn't want to call my dad because at the time me and him really weren't talking that much. And I don't ever feel comfortable asking people for something if I haven't been, you know, in contact with you. Like, that's just not the type of person I am. Like, I have family members, siblings even, who will call other family members asking for stuff. I'm like, you don't even have a relationship with this person. Like, how dare you? But that's just not the type of person that I am. So I felt so bad calling him, but he came and he plugged my tire in the rain, filled it with air, because he obviously has all the tools to do that because, you know, he is amazing. And I was on my way. But even before that incident, I had been having issues with my tires or a tire would be losing air. So whenever I get like my like maintenance checkups and stuff, they'll fill my tires for me, but they never say anything to me about, hey, you need a new set of tires, this or that, whatever. But that day that my dad plugged my tires for me, he said, well, have you had a new set of tires since having this car? I said, no. He said, well, has there ever been new tires on the car, even from the previous owner? And I was like, I don't think so. I think these are the tires that came on the car. And he was like, well, you may want to look into getting some new tires soon because it looks like they may be dry rotting. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So that was several months ago. And now I'm at the point where I think it's time to get some new tires. Um, over the last couple of months, like whenever... I could tell like a tire was low like one time my mom even took me up to the gas station and filled it with me because you know I don't feel comfortable doing that by myself like I live downtown and you guys know downtown anywhere there's lots of like homeless men and literally every time I go to the gas station where I'm getting gas or snacks or trying to fill my tires with air they're walking up on me begging for money one time a guy grabbed me to get my attention it's just like too much one time I was driving and I wasn't even in their gas station but this homeless guy was like drugged out on something either on something or possessed by the devil himself and I was driving past him I was like slowing down coming up to a red light and he was like yelling in my car you effing b like cussing me out and literally had like blood coming like out of his mouth his eyes were like bloodshot red and so since then like I've really avoided getting gas down here or anything like I rarely I never stop down here if I have to like the only gas station I'll go to is like this nice one that Kroger does like it's still in like a a like a not a not so good area but for some reason it's just like crazy men repellent over there or something like I don't know but yeah so it's just like been really difficult so I just called Walmart and they said that they're open so I'm gonna go up there today so it's kind of weird to get your tires done on a Sunday but hey whatever I just need to get it done at this point are done after two and a half hours of waiting and they cost me about four hundred and fifty nine dollars and forty three cents my nails are horrible but anyway so I was not planning on you know making this purchase today but I had to do what I had to do you know what I'm saying anyway I just unboxed some shoes my mom picked me up from Dillard so the other day there's some Kate Spade shoes I have them on my feet now so she got me these loafers like aren't they so pretty they're like a velvet material and then they have like the embroidered rose detail on it and i feel like they look like some gucci loafers or something i think with the roses being like embroidered on it just gives me like major gucci vibes but they're just so freaking cute like oh my god so cute and they're really comfy too i kind of want to wear them today I wasn't planning on like wearing like pants though. I wanted to wear a maxi dress, but I think I may wear pants today so that I can wear these because they're just like so like so cute and so different. I really like them. Alright. So the wind probably blew the crap out of my hair. Anyway, I just pulled up to my cousin's house um her new house so i'm excited to see it 
and I'm not really super hungry I think it's more like a mental thing like I know that I'm trying to lose some weight so I don't plan to go in here and stuff my face but I'm gonna see the food and change my mind so we'll just see in a second Look at Mama Cat's new hairdo. Well, turn around. Ooh, look at you. Still living large as I aim for the stars. I'm a real one of dawn, and I came from the slum. I got a stain on my arm. Weather through the storm. If I tell you that I love you, you can't. 